Hey everybody, so I don't know what was in the air or something a couple hours ago, but a lot had transpired. We had Foodie Beauty with our same old BS, then had the C decided to delete our channel, then S Jam was supposedly allegedly drunk driving. He says that he wasn't. All he did was go out and get some Wendy's. Now, the, even the Wendy's is in question because it seems he is in some, some sort of final tr financial trouble, I should say rather, but he is now saying he's not because he does have money because he was talking about his great-grandmother leaving behind monies for him. So he's not in a financial situation, but everything else made it feel like he was. So, okay, if, if your great-grandmother left you something, something, then go ahead, Escham. He also said that the Wendy's was paid for, not by himself, not by the Fam Jam, because he does have a membership. It was paid for by his girlfriend. Now, I can't verify any of this stuff, so I'm just going to throw this all out there. But his whole live stream really devolved into chaos. It went from him cleaning, etc. Then he had to go for the Wendy's. It seemed to a lot of people, most of us, almost all of us, that he was drunk. But I still have to say allegedly because we can't just say definitively if or not he was drunk because he wasn't tested by any means, etc, etc, etc. But he was just doing a lot of things that made it seem as if he was, especially with the blatant accelerating at a really fast pace. It was triggering to a lot of people. Then after that, he came home. He was complaining why there were so much people watching him etc 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 then of course i was like if anybody goes live and starts covering this stuff he's gonna start going off on them and of course he did kai simons uh, decided to cover the situation and of course he went off on poor kaya simon saying a lot of things threatening violence um putting in a strike against kaya simons because he just doesn't want the live stream or a video out there of his shenanigans but the thing is at any point, he could have just ended his live stream. Even people are like, end your live stream, end your live stream. Stop driving, end your live stream. Why didn't he end his live stream, though? That is what's puzzling to me. If I were him, I would just, hey, but like, I'm going to end the live stream. In fact, if I was him, I wouldn't be allegedly, supposedly drunk driving. Because that's something I do not do. I don't put myself in bad situations like that because i don't want to have a bad outcome or a higher probability of a bad outcome so that's just not me so what has been happening with him after he got off that um nearly i think it was like nearly eight hour live stream it was up for a while like an hour that live stream so i'm sure a lot of people got that live stream then after that he went back online again with a short live stream saying a lot of stuff. A lot of VIBsers were in his chat. Then all of a sudden he was like F that. He went offline and then all of a sudden things started becoming privatized. I've checked and it seems there has been a lot of privatized videos now. Because if you look right now on his channel, there isn't much appearing because he's privatizing a lot of things. Like, let's check the videos. Even now, as we speak, he's privatizing a lot of his videos. Um, he stripped his, um, what you call it, icons and stuff. Because, I don't know if he's going to disappear fully. I don't know what he's doing. But I do believe what he has been doing is a mistake because... What can I say about this? Um, we're humans, we make mistakes, but I believe we should learn from our mistakes and get better, not keep repeating the same mistake. Because if we keep repeating the same mistake, then that is the mistake. Not learning from our mistake becomes the mistake. So, okay, let's make a mistake. Let's acknowledge it was a mistake and then let's fix it. The issue, there is no need to be doubling and tripling down, yelling, screaming, threatening lawsuits to people 
when you're clearly in the wrong, take a step back, remove yourself from the internet, get up in the morning, maybe do some apologies, set the record straight, and be better. Stop doubling and tripling down on the bullshit. I keep seeing this happen too much in the community and it is annoying where people cannot own up to their bullshit and then want to double, triple, or even quadruple down. We see this with Foodie Beauty and we're seeing this with a lot of other people. I think this is the wrong approach to take when it comes to, th to stuff like this. And I wish people when... There are countless people telling you stop driving or get off live stream. People would stop driving and people would get off the live stream because there's multiple instances where SM has been told time and time and time and time and time again, get off your live stream. What you're saying is offensive or wrong or both or a lot of other things. The other thing that was annoying me was the constant use of the R word by SM. It was really annoying. It was really offensive. And hopefully he can learn from this situation. Maybe he could bounce back. I don't know. He really pissed off a lot of people. We shall see what happens in the next few hours, day two, three, or four. But as of now, that is what has happened. So we'll see if the strike goes through, whether or not it does. We shall see what the outcome of this entire situation is. But other than that, I mean, I will keep everybody updated. So leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you later. Take care. Have a good one.